Hey guys, I'm Logan. We're up to Season 2, Episode 10 of the Vampire Diaries. Um, if you hear any uh, loud noises, loud screams in the background, that is, um, those would be my roommates. Um, they're playing a game downstairs, and they're very competitive, and yeah. So, if you hear any loud noises, some yeah! Ignore it. Here we go. Who is this? Ah. That's actually not who I expected it was going to be. That was us? I'm sorry. We didn't think anyone. What the hell are you doing? Yes. Why? Wait, is that the dad? No, that's not the dad, is it? All the class wants a break. No spell, no documentary sacrifice. Ergo, you live. How do you destroy it? By releasing it from the moonstone. How do you guys even know this is gonna That's work? That's bullshit. Because we have a crack right? witch on our side. It's bullshit, though. You discussed it with Bonnie. She. I don't want you to do it. What? what are you talking about, Elena? We don't have a choice. What about Klaus? We'll find him right after we get the moonstone. Is that before or after he kills everyone that I care about, including the two of you? Elena, if we can dispel the moonstone, we can save your life. Have you ever channeled another witch before? Where is that? What? Is that yeah, I was, I was like, what the hell is that? Together? Can... How would you like to be able to walk during the daylight? Mm. I've been a slave to shadows for 500 years. What do you think? I think I know a witch who's willing to do whatever it takes to help. If you're willing to make a deal. Well done. That is a good offer. Feeling guilty for what happened to Sarah? I mean, I've been dodging for days because I didn't know what to say to you. Don't worry about it, man. I'm really sorry. Please know that. It wasn't even him. Catherine's an asshole. Matt. That is? Let me do it. I've got my ring. I can get in, get out, no spells necessary. Gee, thanks, you 16 year old child. Why didn't we think about He's that? He's 16. He does Why not look 16. Let me Maybe tell you. I can help better. He looks like 20. Do you have anything that belongs to Catherine? Maybe more. Slater! He's Slater's dead. Rose, open up! It's not home. Sorry. Mm -hmm. No. We didn't come all the way out of here for nothing. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn, look at all those freaking monitors. Uh, I could, wa I could watch like 50 shows at one time. Um, They're all Dells. Every single one is, is a Dell. Rolling in the deep. Stay here. Alice? Catherine. I know. You do? I know that this is the old Lockwood property. <laughs> stop lying. You've got to stop lying to him. Honestly. I think this is such a What's bad idea. Impatient. Oh, this is, this is, is the Vampire it, Diaries. <laughs> is that a flash drive? Or a... Not a flash drive, oh my god, did I just say that? You could get hurt. <laughs> Something's going on here, I'll guys. Be fine. There's Promise. a spark. Robin. It's the eyes. The eyes say it all. She found him a few minutes before we did. How is she? Overreacting. Big time. Her boyfriend just died. There's no such thing as overreacting. As Tessa for her, she didn't care about Slater. She was only dating him long enough to see if he'd turn up. Hmm. I saw my boyfriend with a stake through his heart. Don't I understand. Him. Do you know his password? Who do you think you are? Someone you don't want to mess with? What if I could convince Rose to turn you? She's not gonna do it. Don't freak out. I'm gonna send a message to Klaus. 
The doppelganger is alive, and she's ready to surrender. What? Oh my god, I knew I recognized you. Get in the message, please. What the hell are you doing? I just called you smart. I don't know. It's either me or my family. It's all charade of some suicide mission so that you can sacrifice yourself and save everyone else. Now, is this stupid or is it If love? you want it, you're going to have to come here and get it. Damn. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Sorry, I'm late. It's just been full of surprises. I'm sorry. I took some powder. Don't worry. I know that he's wearing his ring. So no matter how many times I kill him, he'll just keep coming back for more. So, I'm gonna make the back play with my new little toy. <coughs> you guys just give me a holler when you got the tomb open. I mean, it worked, but it didn't work at the same time. So how exactly does it... Ah, oh, it is, it is the dead. I thought it was the dead. In. Three hours. Four. Five hours. How long does this last? <laughs> Jesus! I can't do that. That's all. Whatever. The your ass out the door before I throw you over my shoulder and carry you out myself. <laughs> no. You need to stop. Bonnie! Look at him! Think of it. Time to go. It's not that. Well, it's the sound of sleeping. I won't remember it for you. Well, then you have been incredibly helpful. That you left I did have a little run-in with one of the brothers that killed him. He died before he let anything happen to her. They both won. Should we kept saying? For now. Well, that's precisely what we need her to be. Safe. What? You almost did. But he can come back. Damn, what the hell? I, I can't. What happens? We'll protect her. Promise. I like it when they're working together and not freaking fighting each other. Very solid episode. Um. I really don't know why Elijah did that. Why would you... Unless he... He doesn't want her to die. He doesn't want to lift the curse, so he was after her to 
keep her safe. So is he with Klaus? I don't know. Does he have his own plan? Like, something's going on here. Um... Um, a few weeks ago, I think, I, uh, I asked my Twitter followers who they thought was going to be number one on the list, the top ten list at the end of the season, um, and I put, I put four options up there. It was Elena, Stefan, Damon, and other, um... These results were very interesting. There were there were 87 votes. All right, 87 votes. Um, in the lead was Stefan, 38%. Right behind him at 30% was Damon. And then at 18% was Other. And then Elena was last. So that was really interesting to me because Elena right now is at one. Um, and I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't know if people vote on that list because they, they think it's a favorite thing and they're like, oh, I like Damon, so I'm going to vote Damon, or if they actually put thought into, uh, their votes. Um, but I will tell you right now, this top 10 is competitive, very very freaking competitive. Um, Elena's at one, Stefan's at two, and Damon's at three, but man, this episode is, is making me feel like it deserves, that deserves to change a little bit, but it's close, you know? Um, Um, so as I sit here for a few seconds, and I process this episode and kind of think back on it, um, I'm going to skip the top three as of right now, because it might change. Um, four is going to change. The number four spot, Catherine, is going to move up to four. Um, Bonnie. He's going to move up to five. Alark's going to drop two spots to six. Now, Alark is my favorite character in this series. Uh, but he is, he just hasn't done anything. So, um, and everybody else has. So he's going to drop to uh, six. Bonnie is going to hit that top five spot, and she deserves it. Um, seven. We're going to have Caroline. Eight. We're going to have Elijah. Nine, we're going to have Jeremy. Ten, we're going to have Rose. Um, so, the top ten has shifted a, a, a decent amount here. So, what did I say? I said four was Catherine. So, we got Catherine at four. Bonnie at five. Six is a Lark. Seven is Caroline. She's going to maintain that spot. We got Elijah at eight. Jeremy at 9, and Rose at 10. Now see, this top 10 is so competitive because I don't think Jeremy deserves to be at number 9. But he's at number 9 because we got Elijah, Caroline, Alaric, Bonnie, Catherine, Damon, Stefan, and Elena all ahead of him. And I, des I think those people deserve to be ahead of him. Um, but it, it's really close, and Elijah is, I, I love seeing him on screen, I'll, I'll tell you that right now. Um, back to the top three. I get what Elena's doing, I do. And I get what Stefan's doing, and, and I liked what Stefan's doing, and I liked what Damon's doing. In this episode, it, it was like Elena, Stefan, and Damon in this episode were just doing great. Um, 
you know, and Elena deciding that she wanted to sacrifice her life, I mean, it's her call. Um, do I want her to? <laughs> no. Does it make sense? Yes. Does that take guts? Yes. But then we have Stefan. Stefan going in, knowing that he is going to be stuck, and, and stuck there forever, going into that tomb, or well, stuck there until they find a way to get him out, and saving Jeremy? I told you, they're crazy. Um, that's amazing. Like, b bravo on that. Um, just Elena was smart this episode. I felt like Stefan was smart this episode, and I felt like Damon was smart on this episode. You know, Damon going, going and getting Elena. You know, protecting her. That was amazing. You know, when you have hard decisions to make, you got to go with your heart, with your gut. Um, or while well, I go with my heart, uh, what my heart says. And right now, my heart is saying this. And I will, I will go backwards. The number three spot is Stefan. Um, and and let me tell y'all right now, when I say the top three, it's like this, like it is so close. Um. Stefan's three. I don't think I've ever had a top three this close. Stefan's three. The number one spot, I'm going to skip two. The number one spot's Damon. The number two spot's Elena. Based off of this episode. Um, and, and it's so close. So we have a new number. I think this is our third number one that we've had. Damon is going to be at one. Elena is going to be at two. Stefan's going to be a three. Um, it's a really, really good top ten. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already. See you all next time.